This is Twit. All right, now I got to say, I have an Oculus Rift. I okay. have an HTC Vive. I have the uh, Gear VR from Samsung. Yeah. I have the Google Daydream. I haven't put one of these on in a long, long yeah. time. Yeah. Well, we were talking earlier with Jessica, in fact, you know, that VR just kind of losing a little bit of its steam. And yet I put this on and I thought, well, this is every bit as good as an Oculus Rift. It feels like it. It's I not mean... It's not quite to Oculus Rift territory. There's there's some there's some uh, kind of I don't know elements that are more likened to smartphone VR. I mean that's really what. Okay, it so is. what am I giving up? You get the controller. Right. This is you get you get much? the controller. Uh, so okay, the price one hundred ninety nine dollars to start for so thirty two gigs of internal storage. Very affordable. You don't need a phone. Right. That's I think the big the big benefit here is that it's standalone, <laughs> similar to what we talked about a couple of weeks ago with the Lenovo Mirage uh, Solo. We'll talk about the comparison in a moment. But I mean this is it's super lightweight. You just keep it charged up. It's actually the partner the manufacturing partner was Xiaomi. So okay. Xiaomi does a pretty good design, and they made a really nice, light, easy to use VR goggle you know, by Oculus. Now we're seeing a live stream that's coming from your device that's casting to my Facebook uh, uh, page. <laughs> really? It's is that a good about, idea? <laughs> it's probably about ten or fifteen seconds lagged. So okay. um, So you can use the the interface and, and everything and check it out. So what should I? It. What can I do while we're live streaming? Well, you can go into the library and check out some of the games. There I can actually play games. games? You can actually play games, and that'll stream. It's super easy to stream to Facebook. So if you want to stream, you know, all of your Oculus Go stuff on Facebook. What should I do? Uh, what do you like? Very easy to do. Uh, well, let's see here. Uh, okay, so now we can kind of see it a little I'm, bit. Should I play Shooting Showdown 2? Sure. That's what I, you were playing earlier. I was you playing well, that earlier. You might as well go for that. I'm really good at that. So, okay, so what do you get here? 2560 by 1440, 5.5 inch display on the inside. It's an LCD. It's a fast switching LCD, which is the s similar, well, it's actually the same as the uh, Lenovo Mirage Solo. A lot of these headsets are using OLED, and they, that's because they're a little bit faster display technology but uh, Oculus says the LCD fast switching you don't notice. It is running Android 7.1.2 Nougat. That does not mean oh, that it's Daydream compatible. It's its own thing. So it's running on Android, but it's not the same thing as Daydream. This is interesting. I'm actually going to play a, another person in real world here. Excellent. Okay. So yes, there's a lot of social functionality here. I don't know what I'm now, supposed to do. <clears throat> of the things that you give up, this has a quad-core sna uh, uh, Snapdragon 821, so two-year-old processor inside. So really what you're getting, yeah, yeah, the, I love this game. It what am I doing? It's table tennis. So, you know, play, oh. play ping pong. Play ping pong. This is, not, this is your video. Oh. I know. I oh. like it better that Jason's playing table tennis than me getting shot by this oh, guy. Oh, never mind. Oh, I see. So you're on a different game. Let me play ten table tennis. That sounds yeah, like fun. Yeah, go there. It's a, yeah. it's a lot more intuitive. Okay. Uh, so you have basically a mo an old mobile phone, smart, you know, smartphone uh, processor inside there. So that's one thing that you give up compared to the Oculus Rift. It's not a high-powered computer. It doesn't feel it's, slow, but, though. I mean, no, it's fine. It's just a couple of years outdated. So, you know, at some point, that's going to, you know, affect the experience and performance. Yeah, yeah. Uh, micro SD, or sorry, micro USB port for charging. So it's not the, you know, USB-C, unfortunately. Uh, but it does have integrated speakers. And I actually, that's one of my favorite things about this is that the speakers oh, sound really great. Boy. They're I'm positioned going right. on a roller coaster ride. <laughs> We're oh. seeing different content, that's okay. Uh, <laughs> it's obviously very immersive. Uh, but you have those speakers there, and I think the, the goal and the point of, of this device and why it's a success ah! in, in my mind that. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. Oh, is that oh. Oculus has set this up to be a pick up and go experience? It that's did. I picked it up and right. I'm really going. Right. Uh, anything where you have to put your smartphone in, yes, you can do it. Yes, it's less expensive, but it's one extra layer of difficulty that most people aren't going to go through. Is the lack of motion tracking a big deal? I mean, I, I don't feel like on a lot of these, you, don't, you move around that much. I feel after using the Lenovo Mirage Solo that does, does have, have World it. Sense tracking in it, yeah, yeah. I want it here, and I'm okay. sad that it's not there. However, it's 200 bucks versus 400 bucks, <sighs> so it's way more accessible for the general consumer. Right. right. Um, and I think that's really what they're going after here. They want the general consumer 
to have a system that there's no must, no fuss, pick it up and go, and that's going to drop it into the price category. And you know they're going to come out with one that has uh, inside-out tracking at some point uh, that, that's on the roadmap. So but it won't be this one. It won't be this one, and you're going to yeah. be paying more for it, guaranteed. I, I feel like um, this is really for somebody who says, well, what is this all about? And is curious about VR, but doesn't want to really go out and buy an expensive VR device. Yeah. You get a good, ex this is a pretty complete experience of the basics of VR, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Oculus has done a great job of, of touching the points. What One thing it really reminds me of, because Samsung has their Gear VR, and that's in part, you know, the hardware is, was created with Oculus uh, support. I feel like what this is, is it's a Gear VR, but made by Oculus without the need for a smartphone. Um, Oculus has done a really good job, or is working on, uh, working with Samsung developers, people who have created for the Gear VR, to port their titles over to Oculus. Oculus is also, you know, has a great track record on scoring exclusives so you're gonna get it get you're gonna get some really great games and experiences that way um, they, they've just they've, they've tailored it really well they've also got a feature in there uh, called oculus rooms where you can you know connect with other Ocul oculus users maybe people on gear VR start a party play shared content games with with other people uh, create an avatar just kind of a, a more social experience. We're gonna, we'll definitely be talking about that here in a few minutes uh, to uh, m to greater degree. But this, I don't know if this is stuck or just. Oh no, it just takes a long time to load sometimes. It right? does, and I wonder yeah. if that kind of has something to do with the you know couple of year old CPU. On so the this is the the table tennis game, I guess. Yeah, and it plays exactly like you think. Like, you know, I, I am a professional table tennis player <laughs> in my dreams. And, you know, I, I do like my spin moves. Oh, and it crashed. Sure enough, it works. Oh, it crashed on you? I think so, yeah. It's, oh. uh, I don't know. I pushed a button. And... Okay, do you know how to exit completely out? No, no, it's... I mean, I'm in the, I'm back in the, it, it crashed out to the library. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, Let's see here. Played a bunch of games. Catan. Is it Catan or Catan? I say Catan. Okay. You say Catan. It doesn't I, really matter. I don't even know. But that's but a board game. How that's a board. You, how does that work? It's really cool because you're, I mean, it is a board game, but it's a board game virtualized and you've got three other players surrounding the board and it's just a really great. Are you playing great, with real people or? Well, I did not play with real people. You can. You could. Uh, oh. But it's just a really great way to play a board you know, game. I don't I know. It worked really the, well for me. The Facebook streaming is probably causing problems with the table. It tennis. could be. Yeah. It, it could be too many because it's at once. Although it should, you know, if it's a feature and that's what they want you to do, it should be capable of doing that. I, I I'll tell you, but, uh, Settlers of Catan. The problem with it is the setup takes forever. So having this all set up in virtual reality might be more fun. Yeah. I no, it, it was a lot idea. of fun. I had a lot of fun playing that game. Um, so strengths, I would say obviously portability, it's super light, it's compact, those speakers on board really kind of reduce the need for things like headphones and setup and all that stuff. Uh, easy to pick up and go. Uh, obviously, Oculus has a great store. They've got a lot of really great titles in there. Plenty of free content and experiences. And then the price, for what you get, $199 for standalone VR to start. That's really good. $249 if you want twice as much internal storage, which you might actually want uh, with this. I love it that has the sound built in. Yeah, I know. Like, I, you, you kind of have to remind yourself when you're using it, if you've got the volume up at just the right spot, that you're not wearing headphones because yeah. you might be annoying everybody else. Yeah. Uh, weaknesses, I would say the experience, like I said, is, is on par with Samsung Gear VR, so you're not getting like high-level advanced VR here. It doesn't but seem that much doesn't different. need to be. And I didn't get nauseous. The yeah. frame rate was sufficient that it yep. didn't make me queasy. Yep. I think this is a great thing for somebody who wants to try VR. Yeah. What are the negatives? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, no positional tracking, of course. Again, and you're not going to walk off the face of the earth, right? It's just going to, nah. yeah. So I don't know. Nah, but now, now that I've had that experience, it's hard. You like, want I it. want it. I want it all the time. Yeah. Uh, even for just like slight, you know, angle shifts to see around that light or whatever the case yeah. may be. The, co the controller itself is not rechargeable. This is a double A battery on the inside, mm -hmm. which isn't a total negative, but it's kind of nice to be able to just plug it in and right. forget about it instead of finding a battery. Uh, and like I said, the processor is already two years older. Uh, so maybe that that's how they get the price issue. down. That's yeah. true. They yeah. got to hit that price point. Yeah, an eight twenty one. But this is rechargeable. The headset itself is absolutely. So it you is. keep that plugged in. This Takes probably goes a long three time. Three hours to charge it up from okay. because you know it's just. Straight and how how USB. long can you play for? Uh, two and a half, three, right around there. Okay, so three hours to charge. Yeah, but two hours you, to play. You could yeah. keep it plugged in, and I did that at times because I forgot to charge it and just keep it plugged in. I but you got to have a longer cable. Oh, I see. While you're off. playing it, yeah, yeah. Yeah, while you're playing it. But overall, I think this is kind of one of 
one of the more consumer friendly VR I'm devices impressed. right now. It's better than I thought it would be. Yeah. To be honest, at that price. Uh, That's if nice. You, if I honestly, before you were to buy a VR, an Oculus Rift, or a, a Vive, which is a lot of money plus a fancy PC, get this and see if it's in. You know, because this yep. is enough of an experience. You'd know. Do I like this? Yeah. Totally. And I think it's better than Gear VR or Daydream. Don't like, you? you know, um, yes, I would actually say. Yeah. Uh, I totally agree. Like, I love that it's just one single unit. Right. Plug it in. Like, I could see bringing this and having my kids get in on this. Like, I, I brought them in on the Daydream VR experience. Right. There's just enough kind of fiddly setup there yeah. to make it complicated to bring a really young kid in. And, and show it to them. This, you really just pick it up and go. Yeah. So it's really nice. That's probably yeah. why they call it Oculus Go. It's a good, hey, it's a really good, good gift, name, too, I think. Yeah. Of the Lenovo and Oculus, given if they were the same price, I understand this oh. is twice as much, you'd prefer the Lenovo. Um, no, I don't think it's as, as uh, cut and dry as that. Okay. Like, I, I prefer the fact that this has tracking on it. But the li the software library, the ease of use, the comfort. This this Lenovo Mirage Solo is so much it chunkier look and heavier, <laughs> yeah. and over time, really kind of All kind right. of got sore. So save the money, this, get the Oculus. Sure, check it out. Uh, you're not the first person I've heard say that actually. Yeah. I think people like it. Yeah. Thank nice. you, Jason Howell. Absolutely. I might have to get one of these.